You just got your Legion Go, unboxed it, and finished setting up Windows. What's next? What do you need to do to get the most out of your device? Stick around because I'm going to go over day one setup, tips, tricks, and troubleshooting for your Legion Go. Take a look at the overview on the screen now and skip to the section you want or watch the whole video. Before we get started, make sure to remove the film from the trackpad. After the standard Windows setup finishes, uh, Legion Space is going to pop up and it's going to download and then you are going to install it. Just let it do its thing while it gets installed. Legion Space will then start and it's going to ask you to plug the controllers in. If you do have them removed, it is going to update the controller firmware. And of course, Windows Update has some stuff that needs to run as well, so you might as well get that out of the way now. Next, we're going to update the GPU driver, so head over to the Lenovo support page, link in the description. Go to Graphics Processing Unit and download the driver here. And once that finishes downloading, double-click the installer, click OK on your language, accept, next, install, and it's going to extract all the files that it needs. After that, a command prompt window is going to open and it's going to install everything. Just let it do its thing. Once it's done, it's always a good idea to restart your computer. Now that it's all set up, go download all the games you want to play and get started. But stick around for some tips and tricks to get the most out of your device. To get the most performance out of your Go, we're going to set the power mode to power savings mode. It sounds counterintuitive, but as you can see in this Heaven benchmark, we gain 25% more FPS after switching. If you want to hide Legion Space, add Startup, go ahead and click Menu, Settings, General, and then toggle the switch, boot automatically into Legion Space. And if you don't want Legion Space to start at all, you can go to Task Scheduler, and then if you find the LS Daemon, you can hit the Disable button, and that will prevent even the Legion Space buttons from bringing up the app. To adjust the dead zone, go to Settings, Controller, Adjust dead zone, and here you can adjust it to whatever your preference is. Default is 5%. Tired of accidentally hitting the Legion button when you wanted to hit start? You can go to controller settings and switch button layout, and that will swap the left and right Legion buttons with the start and back buttons down in the corner. Updating the BIOS can help with performance. Go to the Lenovo Legion website, and it says enter your serial number. You don't have to, you can just close it and then hit the download button again. Go ahead and extract it, and once that's done, you're going to follow the prompts. Make sure you plug in power because it's going to make sure you have that on. It's going to do some updating, and then it's going to restart and do some more updating. After that's done and it hits 100%, you're going to see a black screen, and it's going to be there for like two to three minutes. Don't worry, it doesn't mean your system's bricked. It's just doing what it needs to do. After that, the Legion symbol is going to come back up, and you're going to boot back into Windows. The Legion Go has many shortcuts. Left Legion and A brings up Task Manager, and Left Legion and B brings up the on-screen keyboard. Left Legion and X brings up Screenshot Mode. Right Legion and D-pad up and down will adjust the TDP by one watt. And there it goes down one. Left Legion and D-pad up and down adjust the vibration intensity. Left Legion and right stick are going to be the Xbox guide button. And trying to memorize all those shortcuts is going to be tough, so press the LB and Left Legion button to bring up a guide. Want to turn one of the controllers on or off while they're disconnected? Just hold the Legion button for a few seconds. Did you know you can treat the Legion Go controllers like Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons? Right now these are paired via Bluetooth to the Legion Go and they act as mini Xbox controllers. They don't have a full button layout like a right stick, RB, LB, and the triggers, but they do work great for indie games like Boomerang Fu. And because they connect via Bluetooth, these can pair with virtually any Bluetooth enabled device that accepts Xbox controllers. To pair in Bluetooth mode, we're going to hold the Legion button and the left D-pad, or the X button on the right controller, and we're going to wait for the light to start flashing blue. Once it's flashing blue, we're going to go to the Bluetooth settings, and we're going to click the Legion controller for Windows. The blue light's going to stop flashing, and it's going to turn orange, and once pairing successful, it will turn solid blue. Repeat the same process with the right controller. To get the controllers out of Bluetooth mode, just redock them with your Legion Go. Want to configure the back buttons as gamepad buttons? We're going to go to Legion Space, Settings, Controller, and we're going to go down to Button Mapping Profile. We're going to click View, and if we go to Rear View here, we're going to be able to see all the different buttons, and we can set them to one individual button. Button combos are coming in a future update, but they're not available now. 
make sure to hit save. To do this for FPS mode, switch it on over, and we're going to go back into the profile and hit view. And from here, we can set both the left and right controllers. To get in the BIOS, we're going to hold volume up and power. Wait for a white screen to show up. Now we're going to click BIOS Setup. From here, we're going to hit More Settings and Configuration. There's two options we care about. We care about the VRAM size, which is this here. And we're going to set it to Auto. You have to have the January 23rd BIOS to do that. The other thing I'm going to change is the charging speed when you're playing games. It's by default set to Slow. I want to make it a little bit faster. We're going to go Exit and Exit Saving Changes, Yes. Device won't power on after unboxing. Solution, plug in the charger. Larger manufacturers like to enable what's called shipping mode. All you need to do is plug in the charger and it will turn on. Is your joystick acting up? You can calibrate the joystick by holding the trigger and the joystick button for a few seconds. And you're gonna see the light turn to violet. Once that happens, we're gonna rotate the joystick three times around. And on the right controller, we're gonna press the B button. And on the left controller, we're gonna press the D-pad right button to end calibration. If your controller is acting up, there is a reset button. Grab a safety pin and press the button inside for a few seconds. Game not recognizing your external controller. Some games only accept input from controller one. So turn on FPS mode, reconnect your controller, and you should be good to go. Some games like Call of Duty do require you restart the game. Have an old game that won't detect the controller? Switch it to de-input mode by selecting the left legion and RB button. Hold that for a few seconds and you'll see it switches over to a de-input mode. Hold the same button combo to switch it back to Xbox mode. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please stay tuned for more Legion Go videos. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, maybe even subscribe, and thanks for watching.